Hello everyone. Today, I would like to show you that how to create butterfly valve, lug type, rivet family. In this video, I will create three part of family, bolt nut, bolt nut group and main body, and then load and combine into main family. This is lookup table, CSV file. Its data are referred from the manufacturer specifications. I will use this lookup table, CSV file, to create the parametric family. There are DN50 to DN150. I will use this formula for default do not found. And I will refer those dimension in the picture to create the parameter. Before go to Revit, I would like to request to subscribe the channel and click the notification bell for the next video. Ok, let go to Revit. To create bold nut family. Open the new family. Select the generic model face base and open it. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 16mm and create similar. Insert dimension and add parameter for M. Select instance and click OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 90mm and create similar. Insert dimension and add parameter for D1R. Select instance and click OK. Go to create. Select the extrusion. Draw a rectangle and lock to the reference plane. Draw start end radius arc and lock to the reference plane. Insert radius dimension and assign parameter to M. Draw a circle. Select the circle and check circle mark visible. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Insert diameter dimension and assign parameter to M. Finish the extrusion. Go to left view. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 26 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension and add parameter for C. Select instance and click OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 7 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension and add parameter for C1. Select instance and click OK. Go to family type. Add formula for C1 parameter. Click apply and OK. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Go to reference level. Go to create. Select the void extrusion. Draw a circle. Select the circle and check circle mark visible. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Insert dimension and add parameter for R. Select instance and click OK. Go to left view. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Check in 3D view. Select the reference object and temporary hide it. Select the geometry. Assign the material parameter to material. Select instance and click OK. Go to left view. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 20 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension and add parameter for T. Select instance and click OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 16 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension and assign to M parameter. Go to create. Select the sweep. Sketch path. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Edit profile in reference level. Draw a circle. Select the circle and check circle mark visible. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Insert diameter dimension. Select the dimension and assign parameter to M. 
Finish the sweep. Check in 3D view. Go to reference level. This is created nut and washer family which parameter controlled by lookup table. I will use and load this created family into this main family. You can find and watch how to create this family in the channel. Insert and load this created family into main family. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Go to left view. Select the family. Edit work plane and pick up a new work plane. Select the family. Assign the material parameter to bolt nut material. Select instance and click OK. Associate nominal diameter parameter to M. Select the family and mirror to opposite side. Select the family. Edit work plane and pick up a new work plane. Check in 3D view. Select the geometry. Assign the material parameter to bolt nut material. Go to family type. Add a new parameter for D1. Select instance and click OK. Set 180 mm for D1 value as default. Add formula for D1R parameter. Click apply and OK. Go to left view. Go to family type. Add formula for R parameter. And click apply. Check and play the parameter. Click apply and OK. Go to 3D view. Save the family. Go to reference level. Select the reference plane and make not reference plane. Go to left view. Select the reference plane and make not reference plane. Back to 3D view. To create bold nut group family. Open the new family. Select the generic model face space and open it. Insert and load this created family into main family. Select the family. Assign the bold nut material parameter to bold nut material. Select instance and click OK. Assign the material parameter to body material. Select instance and click OK. Assign C parameter to C. Select instance and click OK. Assign D1 parameter to D1. Select instance and click OK. Assign M parameter to M. Select instance and click OK. Assign T parameter to T. Select instance and click OK. Select family and array. Select radial, last point, place at intersection point and array. Select the array family and set for number of array. Insert radius dimension and add parameter for D1R. Select instance and click OK. Select the array and set 130 degrees array distance. And set 65 degrees array distance for both up and down. Select the array family. Add a new parameter for number of array. Select instance and click OK. Go to family type. Add formula for D1R parameter. Click apply and OK. Check in 3D view. Select the reference object and temporary hide it. Go to visibility graphic override. Shortcut is VG. Off dimension and reference line. Save the family. Go to reference level. Go to family type. Check and play the parameter. 
Click Apply and OK. Go to 3D View. To create main family. Open the new family. Select the generic model and open it. Go to Family Category and Parameter. Select Pipe Accessories for Family Category and select Valve Breaks into for Part Type. Go to Front View. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 28mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension and add parameter for C. Select instance and click OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 7mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension and add parameter for C1. Select instance and click OK. Go to reference level. Insert and load this created family into main family. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Select the family and set 0 for elevation level. And click apply. Select the family. Assign the body material parameter to body material. Assign the bot nut material parameter to bolt nut material. Associate C parameter to C. Assign D1 parameter to D1. Select instance and click OK. Assign M parameter to M. Select instance and click OK. Assign T parameter to T. Select instance and click OK. Select the family. Assign the number of bolt nut parameter to number of bolt nut. Select instance and click OK. Go to left view. Select the family and mirror to right side. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Check in 3D view. Go to Family Type. Check and play the parameter. Click Apply and OK. Go to Front View. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 74mm and create similar. Insert dimension and add parameter for R. Select Instance and click OK. Go to Family Type. Add formula for our parameter. Click Apply and OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 53mm and create similar. Insert dimension and add parameter for R1. Select Instance and click OK. Go to Family Type. Add a new parameter for D. Select Instance and click OK. Set 105 mm for D value as default. Add formula for R1 parameter. And click apply and OK. Go to create. Select the revolve. Draw a rectangle and lock to the reference plane. Set the axis line and finish the revolve. Check in 3D view. Select the geometry. Assign the material parameter to body material. Go to front view. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 11mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 176mm and create similar. Insert dimension and add parameter for A. Select Instance and click OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 100mm and create similar. Insert dimension and add parameter for B. Select Instance and click OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 26mm and create similar. Insert dimension.
select the dimension and add parameter for C2. Select instance and click OK. Go to family type. Add formula for C1 parameter. And click apply. Add formula for C2 parameter. And click apply and OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 11 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and add parameter for S. Select instance and click OK. Go to create. Select the revolve. Draw a rectangle and lock to the reference plane. Select the fillet arc. Set radius 2 mm and fillet the corner and lock it. Draw boundary line and lock to reference plane. Set the axis line and finish the revolve. Check in 3D view. Join the geometry with each other. Go to front view. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 5.5 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension and assign to S parameter. Go to create. Select the revolve. Draw partial ellipse and lock to reference plane. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Set the axis line and finish the revolve. Check in 3D view. Go to front view. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 30 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and add parameter for V. Select instance and click OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 10 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Go to create. Select the revolve. Draw a rectangle and lock to the reference plane. Draw another rectangle and lock to the reference plane. Set the axis line and finish the revolve. Check in 3D view. Go to front view. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 13 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 13 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Go to create. Select the revolve. Draw a rectangle and lock to the reference plane. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Set the axis line and finish the revolve. Check in 3D view. Select the geometry. Assign the material parameter to lever material. Select instance and click OK. Go to family type. Click on manage lookup table. Import the CSV file. And click OK. Add a new parameter for lookup table. Select text for type and select other for group. Add parameter value for lookup table. The value is CSV file name. And click apply.
add a new parameter for nominal diameter. Select instance and click OK. Set 100 mm value of pipe size for default. And click apply. Add formula for a parameter. And click apply. Add formula for B parameter. And click apply. Add formula for C parameter. And click apply. Add formula for D parameter. And click apply. Add formula for D1 parameter. And click apply. Add formula for M parameter. And click apply. Add formula for S parameter. And click apply. Add formula for T parameter. And click apply. Add formula for V parameter. And click apply. Add a new parameter for N. Select integer for type and select other for group. Select instance and click OK. Add formula for N parameter. And click apply. Add formula for number of bold parameter. And click apply. Check and play the nominal diameter parameter. Click apply and OK. Go to left view. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 30 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and assign parameter to V. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 195 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and add parameter for L. Select instance and click OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 65 mm and create similar. Insert dimension. Select the dimension and add parameter for L1. Select instance and click OK. Go to family type. Add formula for L1 parameter. And click apply. Add formula for L parameter. And click apply and OK. Go to front view. Select the reference plane and mirror to opposite side. Insert dimension and make equal. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 5 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Go to left view. Go to create. Select the sweep. Sketch path. Draw the line and lock to the reference plane. Draw start end radius arc and lock to the reference plane. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Edit profile in front view. Draw a rectangle and lock to the reference plane. Select the fillet arc. Set radius 2 mm and fillet the corner and lock it. Finish the sweep. Check in 3D view. Join the geometry with each other. Save the family. Go to left view. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 15 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Go to create. Select the void extrusion. Draw the line and lock to the reference plane. Draw start end radius arc and lock to the reference plane. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Finish the void extrusion. Go to front view. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Check in 3D view. Go to left view. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 7 mm and create similar. 
insert dimension and make equal. Go to create. Select the extrusion. Offset 30 millimeters and create a line. Insert dimension and assign parameter to V. Draw the line and lock to the reference plane. Select the fillet arc. Set radius 5 mm and fillet the corner and lock it. Finish the extrusion. Go to front view. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Check in 3D view. Select the geometry. Assign the material parameter to lever material. Go to family type. Check and play the nominal diameter parameter. Click on the body material by category. Create a new material and rename it. And click apply. Open asset browser. Click on appearance library and select the metal. Replace blue color material. Go to graphic and select use render appearance. Click apply and OK. Click on the lever material by category. Create a new material and rename it. And click apply. Open asset browser. Click on appearance library and select the metallic paint. Replace glossy black color paint. Duplicate the asset and rename it. Go to graphic and select use render appearance. Click apply and OK. Go to create. Select pipe connector and place on flange face. Select the connector and link to the each other. Select connector and associate the diameter to nominal diameter parameter. Set K coefficient for loss method and global for system classification. Let's check how this family work in project. This are DN150 to DN50 butterfly valve after load into project. Ok, butterfly valve family creation is completed. If you like this video, please don't forget to click the like button. Thank you for watching.